Well, it seems like my little people have been complaining again. That's right. It seems they have no gas. Yeah, they can't get around town anymore. All the cars have seemingly stopped where they're at. So I need to build them a gas station. So this is my City Classics gas station. I'm going to open it up and uh, see what kind of parts we have. So just quickly looking at it, I've got some glass for the window. That's plastic. I'm betting this is probably for a roof or something. I've got this. I'm not sure what that's for. It's another little piece of plastic right there. Um, I have these golf. Uh, I'm not going to use those. I'm going to get some uh, Sinclair. And then there's the... Uh, There's the majority of the model. So I'm going to wash this first just in case there's any oily stuff on it. and Then I'll get started. I've got um, directions. There we go. There's the sheet of directions for this. And there's the other side. So there's two sides to this. So first thing I do this is probably a review for some. As you see these little burrs from taking it off of the rack when they're making this thing. I try to cut those off of there, but there's still some little burrs, so I uh, I sand those until that's nice and flat. Because if you have the burrs, it's going to uh, it's going to hold it up and not let it glue flat. So I have to sand all these pieces first. So I got all these parts here sanded. This uh, winds up being the slab when I look at it. That's got to be the roof and this is our four main walls and that's basically the gas station to put it together. But I think it's time to open up the roomettes because um, I need to see how these are going to fit with the walls. So if you buy these, they're pre-cut. You can see the the cuts, but there's a small spot like like right here there's a spot, there there's a spot, another spot up here and and you need to cut those with a knife in order to get these out of here. So I decided to kind of pre-bend these. I'm not going to glue the flanges on it just yet because I want to make sure they fit unless I have to cut something on these. If I have to cut something now it would be easier to cut than if I had a box. But I just wanted to see what they would look like. Let's see. There we go. That's the gist of it. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the front and the two side walls together. And then after those are together, I can kind of slip the boxes in to make sure it all fits. Well, I don't have one of those contraptions, you know, to make things square, but I've got a pretty good eye for square. And... uh do have these pieces that I set inside to help square it up. Then I wait for one side to dry. That's the glue I'm using. It's, it's real runny. It's real runny and when you put it on the plastic it it kind of melts the edge that you're putting it on and it bonds the plastic to almost, almost as if it's one piece when it gets finished. I really like this stuff. Let's see. There you go. So this is what I wanted to do. I folded them up. That's the bottom. <laughs> they slip in there just perfect. So 
this this thing is hanging down, but it'll come up when I glue it all together. There's glue strips here, and there's also glue strips uh, on the front of these to glue to the to the wall above the windows to help hold them in. There, that gives you an idea how that's going to look. So now I'm looking at the doors, and I'm wondering. Um, because I will have a scene in there, and I think I might want to park a car in there. I wonder if I should, like, maybe cut this door out, just the one door, so that it looks like it's open. Well, I had to grab a car to see if it was going to fit in there. If it's great. Now, I'm wondering if I could put a car on a lift, if I could make a little lift in there and have the car sit on a lift. Well, I was looking through my box of junk. And I found a couple of things here. I think I'm going to simulate my lifts with this. And it's plastic. And um, I tried to cut it to look like um, an old lift from the 1950s. And got a little round doll there to, to have the lift raised. And I tried to bend the... the, the uh, edges down just a little bit to look like it would you'd be driving up on top of it you can see the bends there so I've got the car tacked on there with some glue and I put in my service guy so I think that's all I'm gonna have inside the garage so that's just about ready So this shaping up, that's the closest green I could find to the Sinclair. It's called a marsh green, but I think it's coming out all right. I had painted those stripes on, but boy, did I make a mess. So there's there's little grooves, you know, because these were um, porcelain tiles that were on these gas stations. So naturally where each tile intersects, there's a, like a groove. And the paint ran in the grooves and I made a great big mess and took me a while to have to clean it off and start over again. So now I have decals for the stripes. So the stripes are decals and the trim is painted and that's about the closest I can get to match the stripes with the painted trim, but I think that's going to be just fine. I'm I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking now. So I have the roomettes in. The black tape is primarily taping the edges so that I don't see daylight. Um, because they're what is it? Perforated edges, so daylight can get through there. So I taped all the edges, and then I just taped, you know, the wire down a little bit, so it can't move from that light. And that's kind of that's kind of what you see in there. I'll have my lights on, but uh, yeah, there's there's the car on the hoist. So. I have to put the roof on, and I have to uh, I have to put a couple of blocks in there to hold the roof at a specific level. So that's my next step. So I'm laying some of this painter's tape over the top of this. I've done this before, and it seemed to be working out okay. I want to kind of just simulate a you know kind of a hot roof, but. Uh, you know, that they've laid something over it first. So, now I'm going to paint it black. So that's kind of how my roof came out. Not bad. 
I mean, it's kind of a brand new building, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to weather this at all or just leave it the way it is. I still have to put a couple of plumbing stacks on there for the bathrooms and probably something for the furnace. Well, it's built, but I still have to install it, so I will make a video when I do get around to installing this. Um, I'm going to put it down in this area here. So I have, I have started to drill a little hole here, and that's about, that's about where it's going to sit. But, um, you know, this building it is just like half of the work landscaping it and you know when installing it and that that's that's a whole nother job <laughs> so listen I'll get to it but uh, it might take me a bit anyway you guys take care God bless you all I'll see you on my next one <laughs>